Hello everyone, this is Real Talk back at you again. Real line talk, meaning real men talk. This is not a video against anyone. This is pro my people, pro men. This is what this is about. And like I tell you before, as long as you have a for real mindset, mindset of the you are destroyed, you're not you're non defile, you will not resist what it is, and talking about this is the new masculinity issue? No, no it's not. That's the new version of homosexuals. That's what that's about. And because they have money and they're pets for white supremacy and they're pets for homosexuals and they're pets because of their mindset, they are destroyed. And that's why the Bible says two-thirds of us have to be destroyed. Why? They serve no purpose for nobody. And I know that's harsh to say, and it's going to be demonetized. It's going to be hated on and frowned on because, why? Wow, the spirit has been beaten out of us. Too much distraction and self-hate. We don't know who we are. We have a conquered mindset. And I know it's only a few of us going to speak up and stand up because, why? Wow, the rest of us, we're only going to fall in line to get in line. Why? Because what purpose do we serve? And I get that. But for those who say freedom is peace speech, you know, but it's not freedom of speech. Because as long as I dress and act like this, or I'm their type, type of Negro, they're cool with that. Why? Because it served no purpose for men. Look at this beautiful woman right here. And I feel bad for these women. I really do feel bad for our women. It's bad enough as not too many men among us anyway. But you got to deal with Negroes like this. And because he has the bag, or a cachet or whatever, women want to be subjugated to this type of knucklehead nonsense right here. And that's all it is. Pharrell and all this elder LGBTQ, QRS, TUV, WXY, and Z, this don't serve no purpose for us. Case in point, they had a uh, reparation, uh, was it $67 million? For best being gay, I wonder what percentage of among us that cater to that behavior got any of that money or even knew it existed or when it was distributed, was we a part of it? Well, moving right along, I've been knowing about this guy and his mindset for years because why? His mindset is non-threatening. You know, this all, we are the world, we are the people that join hands. That's bootlicking mindset stuff. That's what I want to say, because why? We don't get along and we don't get together. And that's why I tell our brothers among us, we going to have to have our own platform. It's going to come to the point that the only thing you're going to be seeing is this right here. See this right here? This is all you're going to see. I mean, you can look at all of our shows. The agenda is demasculinity, surgeon. That's what it's about. You look at all of our top shows from power, from, from everything, empire especially. Black Lightning, I can go on and on, but I don't have the time of trying to make this as short as possible. And that is the problem that we have. And you're trying to tell me, a beautiful woman like this have to be subjugated to this. This is her pick of the litter right here. That's crazy. And these are the classic dudes who pass in all the diseases and, you know, all the other craziness. They serve no purpose for nobody but their own. Even they're ostracized, even among them. They're tolerated because why they serve a purpose. The same way like bootlicking Sambo Coons who fall in line, who get along just to get along. You know what I mean? Because why? We're too afraid, too much self-hate, too much fear. The spirit is beaten out of us. We don't know who we are. We're still saying we're African American. We're still saying we're black. We're still saying we're mixed. There is no such thing as mixed people. There is no such thing as black. There is no such thing as African American, Cuban, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Haitian. I could go on and on and on. But because we don't read and we don't want to know 
and the spirit been beaten out of us, we don't care. So we can sit here and be politically correct all you want, but this is what's happening to us. We're killing ourselves because of fear. You cannot say fear. And this is what I tell brothers when you want to have this conversation about demasculinity. This is nothing more than modern day butt breaking. This is nothing more than that the modern day Jim Crow agenda. Willie Lynch and all of the other white wing and radical left extremists. That that's all it's about. Demasculation. Why? Because there are no men appropriating with beautiful women like this. It won't be no more of this. Why? Because everybody's going to be clones or they're going to be thinking and destroyed. Why? Because they're dying off. Not, not by our hands, but by, by, by Mother Nature and their own doing. We don't have the power to control anything. Case in point, we don't have the control to do our, ourselves. Yes, we might have a few little here or there, but on a larger scale, no. Because what the hell is this, man? For real, for real. You want to wear a dress and you wear your own women dress? You know? <clears throat> and I know that's what it is. Oh, you can't speak hate. But people can sit here and berate us and tell us what, what's the new agenda and what it should be and how it should feel and what we should think. All the pagan stuff. Oh, I'm going to do Thanksgiving. I'm going to do Christmas. Do you even know the meaning of Black Friday? No, I don't care. I just want the sales. I know. And that's why I tell you we in the rut. We in, we're going to remain under the foot. I don't care how much money you make, where you live, where you drive, where you shop. You are model, you call it fraternity, or uh, what union you're in. That means absolutely nothing on a larger scale. And people who think like me understand what I'm talking about. Raise your sons to be men. Raise your daughters to, to be only looking for men and appropriate with men. This music, this TV, this genre is only against us. You see the things, how we dress and how we act? They allow that. If they want to stop any agenda, they'll do that. Let us start talking about we're Israelites. Let us start talking about we're the people of the Bible. Let us start talking about the Bible is only for people that broken the law in the first place. Let them talk about there's no such thing as no Gentile nation making it happen. Let us start talking about who we are as a people, what, what, what it should mean. Or where we really come from. Or religion. Don't listen to all of these pork chop eating, sister shrimp eating, all of these other brothers with the mindset of destroyed Negronism. That's all it is with these churches. It's about money. It ain't about God. It ain't about keeping the law, statute, and commandment. It ain't about walking by faith, not by sight. It ain't about keeping a Sabbath day, the high holy days. It ain't about... Loving your brother and your sister. It ain't about any of that stuff. Dealing with your brother in a righteous way. Dealing with your sister in a righteous way. Respecting one another. No, we, we, we dump on one another on a daily basis. But when it comes to boot licking, boot shining Negroes, we fall in line. Why? Because we know we can't go against the machine. You know, we know that. But when people say real stuff like me, you get demonetized, Negroes get scared, they start having, they start quenching and all this other stuff, because why? Their spirit been beaten out of them. But if I was talking about inclusion, whatever that means, if I'm going to talk about what we should think and how we should feel and come together, okay, we're going to come together, come together at one. The Bible says, how can two walk together unless they agree? We got to agree that all of this demasculation, homosexual, all of this pedophilia, bestiality, gang banging, hoochie mama mentality is destroying us. It is. This craziness is it's crazy, man. It's so ridiculous that I got to do a video about a grown ass man who want to dress like a woman. And thinking this is what's cool and what's happening, what's popping. A lot of these brothers on all kind of medication, man, because they're crazy. Kanye West, 
all of these brothers. Then the next minute, you in King, you in Ghana talking about you from the tribe of Judah. So if you're from the tribe of Judah, what are you still doing? Christianity or Islam or Buddha? All of that is pagan. Religion simply means that you have been conforming to the white man, the Arab, and the African man's religion. They got zero to do with you. And if you know you're a real scholar, your own research, it got nothing to do with being a Morris, because that's still a practice. We're talking about bloodline. We're talking about nationhood. We're talking about who you are, what we stand for as a people. Not this BS here. Not this nonsense here. You fool be looking at this, not this. You fool be gravitating to this, not that. This should be frowned upon. This should be celebrated. And vice versa with the women. But the problem is, they know if you destroy the man, you destroy the race. And that's what's happening to us if a predominantly so-called African-American uh, neighborhoods because we don't have a community. And that's what it is. I don't care if you're talking about Washington, D.C. That's a, that's a sprinkle of stuff. Chicago, New York, whatever. Boston, Los Angeles, Compton, whatever. Atlanta especially. Breeding for, for, for brothers who think and feel like that. You know, because like I tell you before, this is going to destroy us and distract us and confuse us even more than we already is. And no one's speaking up because of fear and self-hate and lack of knowledge of true self. No one's saying that we got to start as men. Teach our young men how to be men. Got nothing to do with your pockets. Because... Trust me when I say this. It doesn't matter if you have a dollar. you still a man. You know, you get with a woman who appreciate a man and respect a man. And you frown upon women who want to act like that. I understand a lot of our sisters are distracted because why? They're in defensive mode. They know that this world is only here to exploit them. They know now that the women, the feminist movement was only designed to distract them and confuse them even more and get into the white woman's fight against her man who she goes home at night because it was the agenda by lesbianists who was rejecting masculine white males. And then the women that was, oh, I sleep with a man sometime. I sleep with a woman sometime. I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, I don't know what I am. Oh, uh, uh, when I'm three years old, let a child determine what your, your your gender is, whatever the hell that means. If you got you stand up and pee, you are a man. You sit down and pee, you are a woman. I don't get it, but this is the mindset we're dealing with. So, brothers like me, drop a like in the description. Let me know, man. Because we got to stop this, also this male bashing and female bashing, because we got to stop that nonsense. We didn't did that in 2018 and beyond. We got to move in a more productive, more uh, constructive behavior. I understand there's some things we got to point out, but all of this gender war nonsense, and I understand a lot of people build their, their platform like that, but that's... That's serving no purpose for nobody now. Because what's, what it is at a home front and the front line, this is winning. This is winning. So what do we? how do we combat that? Do you know? Do you care? No. Because you're still doing pagan religion. You're still talking about, I don't support white supremacy, but you're doing Thanksgiving and Black Friday and Christmas, which is not in the Bible. Nobody can tell me that we should celebrate pilgrimism, that it was indigenous so-called black people here, and it was brought here, and that was a good thing for us to celebrate. Oh, but what, we, what they're going to do is, we're going to give you guys free turkey, turkeys, and we're going to do this and let you guys celebrate us conquering you, the same as 4th of July. We're going to celebrate Christmas, and if you know the real root of Harriet Tubman, you will know that that was one of the real issues why she was doing it. Because why? The Dutch 
and the European made it a festival, made it a, a history when it came to lynching prominent black men. Why? Because as long as they modern day breaking you and showing your man is weak, well, how do the women vote to defend themselves? Because quiet is kept, can't no woman fight no man. I understand it's a lot of exceptional women. I understand there's a lot of women that can do that. But we're talking about alphas, not betas. Because here's the difference, man. Alpha women like her follow alpha men. Beta women who are not like her follow men like this. That's what they do. Real women don't follow women. Real women follow alpha males. Period. That's what it is. Betas? That's who it is. I don't care how much money he made. Oh, he's a good... So what? The culture vultures is just as good as us with technology. Well, do that prove anything?